Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Bantz here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Modern Warfare to run smoothly and stop freezing and jittering every few seconds because I know how frustrating that can be. It's happened to me over the last two months and I finally got it to stop. So I'm going to be showing you guys all the steps I took to get the game to run smooth and I hope you do find this helpful. If you do, then don't forget to drop a like, comment and subscribe and let's jump into the video. So the first thing you want to do is open Blizzard Launcher. Make sure you've got Modern Warfare selected. Go up here to the lower options tab and then click on scan and repair begin scan so this does literally what it says it scans your computer for any broken or corrupt game files and then it repairs them as you're probably aware corrupt and broken game files can be a big issue so this could actually completely fix the issue so i'd recommend doing this first and then running the game and seeing if that helped at all if it hasn't then let's move over to the next fix so the next thing you want to do is turn off any in-game overlays you have installed on your computer for me i have an nvidia graphics card so it comes built in with the geforce experience i'm not sure what other graphics cards uh, have built in um, but if you do have an in-game overlay, you want to go down here and just search up the name of it. So I've got the GeForce Experience here for NVIDIA. Let that open. Uh, and once it has opened, go over to the little settings cog up there. Scroll down to this part where it says in-game overlay and just turn this off. I'm not going to turn it off now because I'm using the in-game overlay right now to record this video. But I've actually directly tested this when I'm playing Modern Warfare and it actually for some reason does have a big impact on your game it does really cause jittering so if you're not on the game specifically to record gameplay then have this turned off because it makes for a much smoother gaming experience without this on okay so for the next step you're going to want to load up modern warfare because we're going to be changing up the graphic settings i know this isn't ideal for everyone but it might have to be done in your case so go over to the options tab go over to your graphic settings uh, and the first thing you want to do is change this from full screen to windowed as you can see in the corner here, when you switch between full screen and window, it goes up and down. You want this to be as low as possible because it's using up more VRAM usage if you're in full screen. That can cause for your game to also be jittery. You can lower your render resolution as well if you want. That can greatly bring down the VRAM usage. However, I like to just leave mine at 100. Another thing you want to make sure your sync every frames VSync is disabled. You do not want this turned on because it causes input lag. Set your custom frame rate limit to custom and then go into advanced and then i like to just put my ones to 60 60 30 uh, but you could try out different ones and see if they work for you this one just works for me moving down to the dls and textures i put my texture res to low this is on normal particle qualities are on low bullet impact is enabled tessellation is set to near on demand texture streaming disabled and streaming quality low now again changing these settings has an effect on the vram usage as you can see if i change my texture resolution watch how that vram usage bumps up massively as you can see i'm ready in the red just from going to low to normal and if you're playing on high then look at that it's insane i guess it really depends on what graphics card you're using i haven't got the best graphics card in the world uh, so i play my own on low and then under shadows and lighting i had the shadow map resolution on normal cash spot shadows disabled and particle lighting is also set to low everything else you can leave the same and then just click apply to make sure those settings have been applied once you've applied this setting i'll also recommend closing the game and reopening it before you jump into an actual match okay so we're going to move over to the last step and if all these steps haven't worked for you then i hope this one does just bear in mind this is a paid step so i definitely recommend trying out the free ones before you go over to this one okay and this is the last step and if everything else hasn't worked and you don't mind spending the money then i hope this one does work for you it's called driver easy it's an app you can download if you just go into google uh, and punch in driver easy it'll come up at the top download it it costs about 35 pounds to get the pro version and what the pro version does is it scans your whole computer and it finds any out of date drives and it can update all of them at the same time for you there is a way to do it manually however i'm not 100 percent sure how that's done again you can check on their website if you want to do it manually uh, i've got the pro version i paid about 35 pounds for it so all you do is you open the app click scan now it will scan your whole computer so it's looking for out of date drivers uh, we just want to let that finish okay so once it's done it will come up here with the drivers that are out of date and below it will be all your other ones that as you can see mine are all up to date except from these two and then what you want to do when you found all the out of date drivers just click update all and it will update all of your out of date drivers now the good thing about this app is it's not just good to have to fix your issues in modern warfare Making sure your drivers are always up to date has an impact on the overall performance of your computer. So it is actually a really good app to have. But again, this should be your last option since it does involve spending money. But like I said, it is actually a good investment. So it's £35 and you get a one year subscription and you can use this on three different devices. Just an FYI, this isn't a paid promotion. I don't recommend using this first. I recommend trying out the three options I showed you before. 
but if you've got the cash and this is also a good option so i'll leave the link to it in the description please do let me know if that helped guys i've seen so many people in comments of other videos and then just in the call of duty community a lot of people have been complaining about this issue me being one of them because like i said i've had this issue for like the past two months and it was so frustrating to not be able to play the game uh, to its full capacity and now the issue is completely gone the thing is i can't pinpoint exactly which one works for me because i've done all of these things before i even loaded the game back up so you guys go in and try them one by one and load the game up and see which one works for you let me know in the comment section also which one you found the most helpful and if you did enjoy this video guys and found it helpful then please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and turn on bell notifications because i upload daily content just like this and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace. i'm still the 97 leo killer about to pull a trigger never switching up i just want to go and get it with my friends and spend it because i go and get it if i want yeah. i don't want to second guess it living in a second and you come in second to the one then you have an accurate records when i bag your necklace i don't have a second gotta run but i recommend this life is what i wanted made a little bit of progress since we started i don't think i gotta say i go the hardest i've been thinking about my future go the farthest and yeah,